Hey you guys, so welcome. We are gonna be doing a bunch of DIYs on my channel and I'm so excited because it's something that I love and I have my beautiful teenage daughter with me, Zoe. She is our oldest, one of three, and she's amazing. Mm -hmm. We love her. So she's here, you guys. We are making coconut lime popsicles. Now we are a paleo eating family out of necessity. That's how we found essential oils. Um, we have celiac, all three of our girls have celiac. So. Here's the ingredients that you're going to need. I will put the recipe and instructions down below. Um, I'm excited. I don't know who's more excited, them or me, for this because I love lime. So first off, you're gonna need is a can of full fat coconut milk. We get ours at Costco. You're gonna need just one lime. We're just actually using the zest because we're gonna add grab some lime essential oil. We're gonna add some lime essential oil to um, our popsicles. And then, you're gonna need some honey to sweeten it up just a little bit. Thank you, there's the lime essential oil that we're gonna add to it. And then you're gonna need um, a can opener to open your can, a zester, this is a pretty gnarly zester. <laughs> um, that's what we have. And then a popsicle maker. This one's my favorite, you guys. Um, we, I just love this one because it makes mainly 10. There's five of us in our family, or yeah, five. So we each can have two. Um, and then it comes with this little cool handy. I will also link it down below in the comments or in the description box so that you can go snag one. Best purchase ever. Then you just take your popsicle sticks once your stuff is in there and you just add them. Regular popsicle sticks. So we'll probably let you do that part, okay? Okay, so let's get started. We have our blender here. We're just gonna add all of our ingredients to the blender. I'm gonna let you open the can while I zest uh, the lime. So let's swap places, okay? Actually, while, while she's doing, actually you stay there. Okay. While she's doing that, you guys, I wanna go over lime and why it is healthy and good for us, lime essential oil. So lime essential oil supports healthy immune function. It positively affects mood and stimul with stimulating and refreshing properties. It is a hundred and like five degrees here today. It's hot. So like this, this, I'll put that down. This is yeah. a necessity. Um, we need to be refreshed. It is often used as an internal cleanser. Um, lime promotes emotional balance and well-being. Mamas, I could use more of that. I'm sure you could too. You can, diffu you can diffuse the lime essential oil into the air to uplift uh, your mood, to cleanse the air and uplift your mood. You can add a drop of lime to drinking water for enhanced flavor with antioxidant support. Just go ahead and put a, a drop in your glass of water. Um, you can combine lime with melaleuca, which is also known as tea tree, essential oil for a soothing scalp massage. So there's a lot of things, there's even more. Um, you can add a drop of this bright and tangy oil to your salsa. My favorite way to use lime um, that our family loves is in uh, taco soup or pad thai. We add it to our pad thai noodles once they've cooked, or we add it to our taco soup after um, each of us has a bowl. We put a drop in our bowl and it is amazing. Um, it can support health of the colon. It can support um, cardiovascular health, so good for men and women. It supports gastrointestinal function and health and relieves occasional heartburn and indigestion. So, and we get to eat it in popsicle form, you guys. You already opened that. Yay! Okay. So here we go. I'm going to go ahead and zest this. Mm -hmm. Do you know how to use this? I kind of do. She goes, do you know how to use this? <laughs> sure, we're just gonna roll with it. Actually, this is really bomb. This is a really bomb one. Cool. So, Zoe girl, go ahead and you can add the coconut milk. Grab a spoon so you can get it all out of that can. Everything's going into the blender, you guys. Super, super simple. Um, and I'll show you how I add my essential oil in lieu of juice. We could use this lime juice, but I've got other plans for this lime. It'll probably go in water or something. Um, I want to use essential oil, or we could use the juice of it and then just add an extra little punch of essential oil. What should we do, though? What are we doing? Should we add the juice of this lime and then add a drop of essential oil? Just to make it nice and... Limey? Limey? Limey. I like limey. <laughs> Wait, what was that song you were just singing? Um... You put the lime in the coconut. Oh, you sing it. No, you sing it no. better. <laughs> ah, it smells good. Okay, I almost have all my zest done. How are you doing, little girl? Got it all in. I may have drift a little bit. That's okay. 
So yeah, the cheapest place ah, that we have found, um, coconut milk is Costco, you guys. Super inexpensive, which I love. Okay, this is an awesome zester. Is that an awesome zester, Mom? I was hesitant, but I'm glad your dad talked me into it. Can I close this so I don't like ruin anything? Mm, or no? No. You can just move it off to the side. It won't wipe. Or you can close it. You can close it, honey. Go ahead. Okay, so here, this thing is awesome. If you go to a store and you need a zester, I recommend this one. It works really, really well. Okay, so here is some fine. Here is our lime zest. Can you guys see that? So cool. So I'm gonna go ahead and dump that in there. Um, okay. Mm, that's limey. And then go ahead and add a splash of just honey to sweeten it up a little bit. This is optional, but we know that we like honey in our house. So, you know, like a tablespoon or so. so. Um, okay. Yeah. I am just gonna cut this lime in half, squeeze it, and then we're gonna still add, we, we really like lime in our house. And then we're gonna still add the lime essential oil to it. Cause I don't know if you could ever have too much lime. I don't think so. I don't think so. Okay, maybe we'll just add a little spice. So uh, doTERRA essential oils are really, um, Concentrated, you guys. They're pure. They're certified pure therapeutic grade, which means they are very potent. So one drop of lime essential oil will go really far. In fact, why don't we double this recipe? Go ahead and grab another can of coconut milk. We're just gonna double it, you guys. You don't have to. I will list just a single recipe down below. Um, but I'm adding a lot of lime, so we have to add other ingredients. Two, so just one drop of lime in there, and um, we will eat it. I might eat it without getting without. Um, might eat it without it being frozen. Yum, yum, yum. yum. How are we doing? Okay. Cool beans. We are ready to almost turn on the. Blender. Do you want me to add more honey? Oh, 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 yeah, just, okay. Cool. Hi, I'm looking at these. Um, do I have coconut on my forehead, guys? Uh, <laughs> no. No. I'm looking at these um, popsicle molds, and I'm like, ah, I thought we could double it and be fine. Okay, a little bit more honey. We're totally winging it. It's not helping you guys. Um, but again, the original recipe will be down below. I think so. I got it. I'll do this one. Did you add the lime? Yes. I'm going to add another drop because. Can I do it? Yeah. Because you can't have enough lime. I mean, too much lime. Like our tropical vacation without leaving the Just house. One? Our tropical staycation. <laughs> I love that. She's rolling her eyes. Oh my. Okay. Exactly. So turn on the blender. I want to make sure that we got. I'm just gonna check real quick my notes to make sure that we got everything in there. Yep. So just coconut milk, lime, and honey. Super simple. So now we're going to turn on. It's going to get loud for a second, guys. Pretty fast. And then, so I'm going to let you put uh, the popsicle 
sticks. I'm gonna go through and put this in. Okay. Mmm, smell that. Mm, it smells like a milkshake. It does smell like a milkshake. Ah, if you miss, oh well. I'll lick it. That's it, you guys. You just pour it in your popsicle molds. You don't have to use this popsicle mold. But we, ah, in the summer, I can't do two things at once. We get our money's worth in it because it's just simple. And we have a big family. And I'm glad we doubled it. It looks like I can like drink that almost. No, it smells so, so good. It smells sweet and sour at the same time. It does. So if you guys have this exact mold, you will want to double it to fill it. There's extra as I called it. Mm-hmm. Do you want to test it? You can grab a spoon and flavor it. Like test to flavor it. Smells really good. Really good. There's a little bit left. Okay. You'll have a little bit left. That's really good. It is really good. Yay, you guys. Okay, so we're gonna take this mold. I need a mask. Go ahead and put I'll put this on. You go ahead and stick the sticks in. Mm -hmm. Like literally, um, within you know 12 minutes or so, you have popsicles that are homemade, that are healthy, that have essential oil that are important. Um, and helps your body, makes your body happy, and then in about three hours, we'll be able to eat these. So, or tomorrow. <laughs> it's five o'clock right now, it's dinner time. Good job. Well, do I completely touch the bottles? There's, there's no more stick left to hold on to. Oh, she's ex speaking from experience. Leave a little bit of okay. stick up. <laughs> Just a little bit. So thank you guys for joining us. That was really, really fun to make. Let us know what you think of these videos. Leave a comment down below. Be sure to subscribe. And we will see you guys in the next video. Thank you. Bye.